Surgeons at the University of Alabama at Birmingham for the first time successfully transplanted kidneys from a genetically modified pig into the abdomen of a 57-year-old brain-dead man. I think what we've accomplished here is really uh, the ability to establish for the first time both safety as well as feasibility as it relates to utilizing a kidney xenograft into a human being. And that's really never been done before. This transplant is the latest in the series of remarkable animal to human organ transplantation operations conducted recently. According to the surgical team, the pig kidneys started functioning and making urine after about 23 minutes and continued to do so. However, one kidney made more urine than the other. Due to the generosity of a donor family, we were able to take a human brain dead donor uh, whose organs were not able to be placed for transplant. And we enrolled the decedent in a study in which we took out the decedent's native kidneys and we transplanted two kidney xenografts. And these are kidneys that were genetically modified in the context of a pig host uh, and they were transplanted into a human. The patient, Jim Parsons, is brain dead. His own kidneys were removed and a genetically modified pig's kidneys were transplanted. Parsons' body has shown no signs of rejection of the pig organs. His parents were, they were giving their bodies to science. And so we often talked about what, we were, what was going to happen with our bodies. And not that we were necessarily going to give them to science, but we definitely were pro-organ donation. There was no doubt in my mind that that's what he wanted to do. According to the lead surgeon on Jim Parsons' transplant, the procedure was similar to a regular human-to-human -human transplant operation and critical safety questions had been addressed. This operation has laid the groundwork for a small clinical trial with live patients. The team at the University of Alabama at Birmingham hopes to begin the clinical trial on live patients by the end of the year. Kidney diseases are a result of high blood pressure or diabetes and are most common in older adults. A patient with severe kidney disease may have to undergo dialysis treatments about three times a week or several hours each time. Only a kidney transplant from a compatible donor can enable such a patient to live a normal life. Thus, Jim Parsons and his family's selfless act of allowing surgeons to use his body for the pig kidney transplant is a huge contribution to medical science. So if we can actually establish this additional source of organs, think about all the people that we can help. Um, some of the preliminary data out there suggests that about two-thirds of people will be compatible with these pig kidneys. Um, and so that really, I think, paired with allo transplantation has the real potential to actually completely eliminate the waiting list and wipe out the organ shortage. Earlier in January 2022, a genetically modified pig's heart was transplanted into a 57-year-old patient with heart failure. The transplant was carried out by the surgeons at the University of Maryland. The patient is still alive and under observation. In September 2021, surgeons at New York University Langone Health attached a kidney from a genetically modified pig to a brain-dead patient on a ventilator. This procedure was unlike the transplant performed on Jim Parsons as the kidney remained outside the body. The kidney worked normally.